You can't cut the police force. You, you just can't. Crime's going up, um, so we need our police force. The first reaction is, after years of work with the community and all of us working together with the police force, what a shame it would be if we even lost one police officer. I was diabolical yesterday when I heard them on, on the radio saying that they were asking them to cut, uh, re making them redundant, but asking them to go back and follow and tray. Do we want a big screen like this? No. We want to greet our public, our customers as they come in, but we can't. We've got to have this, I've got to spend money on a dog because we, we're frightened because there's not enough police out there. Community officers, it's unfair on them really because they're, they've been told to knock off at 10 o'clock at night. Well, I'm sorry, it's after that time we need a policeman. It's about. a nice place to actually say that you live because we've made it that way with the police. You see a local Bobby, have a chat with him. Don't you feel a lot better for the day just having a chat with your local Bobby? You can go to them with anything, there's no problem. You know, they're always there for you. Exactly. Why would you be cutting essential services that involve people's safety, that involve security? Uh, what do you call them, the PS, uh, the ones who haven't got the powers of the police anyway? Um, perhaps, you know, if they're going to cut, cut them. I would say put more money back into it and keep the police as they are and not decrease it. We can't afford to decrease the policing on the ground, to be honest with you. You know, some people are born policemen, they're born firemen, they're born nurses. And to, to have that inside you ripped out through cuts from people in high office who are trying to justify their existence and change the system not for the better, it doesn't seem right. I mean, they've, they've penalised the children with all their swimming in it. They're penalising the old folks. They're penalising all the wrong class. We need to see more police on the streets. You know, not take them off, put more on. Can you imagine a world without the police? It would be chaos, wouldn't it? Um, I grew up in the east end of London having a real negative vibe about the police, but I started to engage with the police when I was about 17 through a sporting programme and I actually saw a different side to them. I know the government is saying we've got to tighten our belt, but we're tightening our belt in the wrong places. Well, if there's cuts to be made, they need to be looked at in different areas, certainly not with the emergency services. At the end of the day, we're here. And when that goes, who's going to help? I'd say to the Home Secretary to come and live here and then we'll take the police away and see how she goes on in the next two years.